Hi there, Bible Mama. How are you? God bless you. I'm so happy that you are here in today's video. It is all about me just sharing my motherhood journey uh, to enhance, amplify, grow in my motherhood journey and all these beautiful resources that God has uh, blessed me and I'm forever thankful and just wanting to share a couple things that maybe some way somehow it would encourage you also to put together a box of some sort or a bag or a little corner somewhere in your bookcase uh, with beautiful resources faith-based and inspired resources that can help you and motivate you in this huge responsibility and this big journey that we have as mothers as christian mothers at that so just wanting to share so i will be showing you one by one um but most importantly the most important resource resources that we need is the bible that is the number one resource that we need and the most important. Okay, so as I grabbed a book from a random corner if in my bag, I happened to gravitate Gaining Confidence to Teach. This book is by Debbie Stryer. It was 99 cents at the thrift store. Such a beautiful blessing. And it's basically a book for dedicated to us Christian um, home. Uh, us Christian moms uh, to encourage us in our journey you know um, there is a lot of um, there's eight eight chapters and each chapter is dedicated to a um, you know to to help us to encourage us to um, like for example here um, chapter one uh, introduction is who needs confidence to teach Chapter two, introduction, walking in our call to homeschool. Chapter three, introduction, the importance of truthfulness. Chapter four, introduction, weathering the seasons of life. Chapter five, finishing the race. Chapter six, navigating the sometimes rough waters. Uh, chapter seven, evaluating your homeschool. And chapter eight is who we are. So it's a really, really good book. It helps you to, you know, have grit and, and have persistence and endurance, uh, encouragement for your homeschoolers, um, gives you hope in seeing the harvest and not growing weary in tough times, such things like that. Now, this is my Bible. I have bought this Bible in the thrift store uh, near me for 99 cents. And I had covered the Bible with washi tape and, and reinforced it with the tape that I just showed you. It's a sealing tape and it's, it's beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. So this Bible is a, a devotional Bible for moms. And to tell you the truth, the devotions in here, they're not, I don't think, up to par um, in encouraging, but um, they do give you some good life lessons. But nonetheless, uh, we are to dedicate, I think, uh, our Bibles to, you know, our specific journeys and all that. So it's good to tab Bible verses that are going to help us in our journey Put in their scriptures, um, pictures, anything that's going to help us in our journey. Put prayers that's going to help you in your journey. Bible study uh, topics uh, about motherhood, people in the Bible about motherhood, all sorts of things, etc., etc., etc. So yeah, that is superb and a must have the Bible. Now this one's how to raise good kids. And I absolutely love this book. I have read maybe two, three chapters from it so far. And I absolutely love, love, love this book. Um, this book really teaches you um, the hope in mothering. 
or being a parent. It speaks about the real huge responsibility that we have as parents. That is a serious work um, for the Lord, for us, ourselves, and our children. Uh, I really love the chapter where it speaks about the uh, commandments of parents. I absolutely love that. Um, what God expects of of us as mothers. It's heavy, heavy on Bible verses, just as the book prior to, in which I absolutely love it. The, I absolutely love the commandments um, that she she put the commandments of parents. I absolutely love that idea, and it's uh, really, really genius to to display them as a commandment, and it's really nice. So these next books that I'm going to show you, they are LNG White books and i am in a process in a journey to um go through them now i think i'm ready um and i'm gonna go nice and slow in this journey just read through the actual book i have referenced some of these books i'm showing you here a quote that i have found and i i love and so and these books, uh, such as the one of True Education, it teaches uh, the work of education and the work of redemption as one. I absolutely love that. Child Guidance um, teaches us about the purity, cheerfulness, self-control, reverence, industriousness, respect, honesty, cleanliness, and so I'm, I'm showing you here such a beautiful quote where it says the education established in Eden. It was uh, basically God, um, you know, God and his children, Adam and Eve and garden. So being the teacher, the student and the classroom, it's basically that. And I'm really excited. I have heard very beautiful things about these books. And, you know, going through a journey, it takes time. And, um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. This one's the same. It's just in Spanish, um, this one with the brown color. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to go through them and um, sharing my journey with you guys. So this here are, is a devotion in a book, and it's called Hope for the Weary Mom. And I really love this um, thing because it's, it's a combination of a book and a devotional. And my take on devotionals is that they're heavy and their focus is on a Bible verse. And so you just read through the Bible verse so you can get any devotionals from moms. And this you can highlight these Bible verses in your Bible. So... This is why I like it because the devotionals are heavy on Bible verses and I can put them in my Bible. So this book here of Love and Dare for Parents, I really like it because it's like a, um, like it's telling you to do this and then you go and do it, do this and why you should do it and go do it. Like it just, it's a one step out of time type of like um it's like a workbook like a workbook and i really really am enjoying uh i'm going to enjoy to go into it then the next one is the five love languages of children and i absolutely love this because it teaches us to have the that love language of physical touch words of affirmation quality time gifts and acts of service with your children this was given to me this uh give them grace book and it was given to me by a sister at church i'm so grateful and happy to have received i am have not quite gone into it um but it's all about grace it's all about us having grace, I think, what I'm sensing. Having grace for us in, in our walk in this journey and also for our children, you know. And this, uh, 
Adele Faber. I don't know. This one I found it or my husband bought it for me through the thrift store. And it's how to talk to kids will listen and listen to kids will talk. And uh, my understanding in this book is that, you know, let's be friends with our with our children. Let's learn to talk to them. Give that example of having a good communication with our children. Next up is this um, thick three ring binder that I am going to put together. By the time you see this book, I have already put it together. I have already started it. Um, this 10 principles of true education curriculum for us parents. So I'm showing you all these line up in books that I'm doing I'm going to do one by one mm -hmm. and and then I'm going to work through them and also work through Alan G. White books the bible and this curriculum so I'm going to have a journal and I'm going to have this Sabbath school lesson based on education how to educate our children and you can find that on the, uh, I think it's uh, 3ABN. They have a link that you can go through the, the website and get them online for free. And so, yeah, I absolutely love it. And I'm pretty excited to go through it. Um, and it's based on God's this in the curriculum is based on God's view on education. God's view on us raising our children, not the world's view. Because the world's view is totally different from God's view. God's view is superb and above anything that it's given here um, in an earthly matter. So um, this is chapter one. Uh, there's 10 chapters in the uh, curriculum. I'm just showing you here that this curriculum is heavy on materials. So I needed to get a three ring binder as I seen the other girls on the other videos uh, suggest. So I want it to be ready and have it on a go. So this is chapter one in itself. And it's going to uh, teach us parents. This is where you can get it. It's online education ministry. And it's going to teach us about uh, character building. Chapter one. Remember, there's 10 chapters. And so there's an assignment. We are to read Matthew chapter five, six, and seven. Desire of ages. The chapters are, the pages are listed in this book called Thoughts from the Mount of Blessings. I have not yet read these two books. Again, I am in a journey and I hope to document my journey and hopes that it will inspire and encourage uh, someone out there. Um, and it looks like here that we are going through read these certain pages and just write our notes, question and answer type of way. And I absolutely love this and um, can't wait. By the way, by the time you have read this, I already have started it. And I have already read um, Matthews 5, 6, and 7 in the light through this curriculum. Because, yes, it doesn't matter how many times we read uh, a verse or a chapter, a book in the Bible. Uh, God, has, God has always something new and beautiful to show us. So, yeah, I'm, I hope... To, for you to get this beautiful uh, free curriculum that we can grow in our journeys of motherhood. Motherhood is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful journey. So I'm going to decorate the outside here with some craft paper. It's like stock uh, paper decorative. And... Yeah, so this is my lineup. I just wanted to share uh, maybe some books to strengthen uh, that that is going to strengthen me and my uh, walk with God in this relationship and in raising his children uh, for his purpose, for his kingdom. 
and um, just sharing these beautiful resources that I hope that it encourages you and inspires you some way, somehow to put together your very own little box, little corner somewhere, a basket. So yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.